Kasaija was inspecting various oil and gas activities at Kingfisher oil field in Changwali, Chikube district and Kabale International Airport in Hoima. And then as you approach this side, it will go away from the road because uh, it can't go the other side again, so it will be more direct. The minister says he's satisfied with the ongoing works, saying he's confident that by 2025, Uganda will have its first oil produced. Uh, some four months ago, we were here launching the, or commissioning the drill in the simple language drill. Now I have come, they have used it. It has produced the results that we they were expected. And now they have even moved it from where we commissioned it, where the president commissioned it, and now it is here. So, uh, fellow Ugandans, uh, this uh, sector, oil and the gas, is moving pretty well. Uh, without uh, a station by 2025, two, two uh, 26, we may be able to see the first oil. Alex Nyombi, the Director of Development and Production at the Petroleum Authority of Uganda, says the laying of 47 kilometers feeder pipeline by Sunok Uganda Limited from Kingfisher oil field to Kabalega Industrial Hub in Kabale, where it will join the East African crude oil pipeline, has started. These LPG plants are going to be built by the operators of the bigger projects. The operator of uh, Kingfisher, which is Sinok Uganda Limited, is going to be the one to build the LPG facility for Kingfisher gas. Total Energies, which is the operator for Tilenga, is going to be the one to build the LPG facilities uh, for the Tilenga project. So there is no risk on this. Uh, the gas comes out with the oil. Everything is going according to plan. Uh, the uncertainties almost do not exist. Nyombi says that the Kingfisher oil field will produce 40,000 barrels of oil every day. Zakali Rubega, the corporate affairs manager, Sinok Uganda Limited, says that over 700 people affected by the feeder pipeline have been compensated and resettled. These facilities are situated now. We had people who were living there, and uh, all of them. Uh, including probably those who, whom we did find along this escarpment road before its construction. They were close to about 110 persons. But 110 persons? 110 persons uh, for these facilities. But of course we have the feeder pipeline that is about 47 kilometers up to the delivery point at Kavale, where we are affected close to 700 persons. Everyone has been compensated. Meanwhile, the construction of Kabalega International Airport has been extended by two months. The airport, which is currently at 95%, was supposed to be handed over on December 26th this year, but it has been pushed to February next year.